book. And today I'm going to give you a few tips regarding the omission of pronouns in Croatian. So as we know, in Croatian we can omit the pronouns in certain sentences. For example, ti mi ideš na živce. Ti mi ideš na živce. Or I could say, ideš mi na živce, without the pronoun. I could also say, vi mi idete na živce. Vi mi idete na živce. Or I could say, idete mi na živce. However, I wouldn't suggest omitting the pronoun for the third person in Croatian. So I could say, ide mi na živce. Well, without context, I don't really know what you're talking about. On mi ide na živce? Ona mi ide na živce? Van zemaljac mi ide na živce? So unless you've been talking with somebody for a while now and there is some context there, you will have to probably keep the pronoun. So on mi ide na živce, ona mi ide na živce, ono mi ide na živce. So the person will know who you're referring to or what you're referring to. Okay, that's all for today. Don't forget to like and comment to follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Follow Sima if you think